I still have a bit of road riding to do until we get to where we're going. Um, I like her because she's a bit fast. Uh, when she gets up to her momentum at 700 C wheels, she kind of holds it steady, even if she's got a lot of rubber. But what I have to get used to is this. This group set right here and the trigger here. That little trigger does things differently from what the other road group sets I know do. Uh, that little lever under the brake lever is meant to go to a harder gear in other group sets, but not at this one. This one makes it easier. To get harder, you do the thumb thing. This one. I'll get used to it. I like it. It's got a definite clack and every time you switch gears. Like that. Somewhere over that rainbow, bluebirds fly. Can you see it? So pretty. I love the fire trees. I'm here at Fit Invest. There are several empty lots that they've turned into simple single track that can be quite friendly even to gravel bikes. And that's what I'm hoping to show the guys. Um, how they can actually experience dirt in a place like this. And there are different lots with different degrees of difficulty. And what we can do is actually just repeat the ones that we like. We don't have to go to the uh, more difficult ones with, uh, with rock features and etc. So we'll try that and show them what it's about. Hopefully they have fun.
Okay, we're doing the new section again. They were able to clear it, but I just want them to improve on confidence. Uh, there's a big difference when you actually end up uh, uh, knowing what you're going to ride through already. He's doing well. I'm not even cheering him on because I don't want him to get to feel conscious about it. I just want him to enjoy the trail. And the problem solving, that's what it is to me. Every time I go on a gravel bike to get on a mountain bike trail, without the suspension, it really becomes a problem solving thing for me. Where's the better line? Where's my momentum gonna go? Oh, whoops, like that. And that's what adds to the fun, I think. And there's a, there's an unhurried uh, vibe when we go on, we, when we get on the trail like this. I uh, just enjoy being outside. I hope this is building confidence for them um, so when they're out riding with other friends and they come across new terrain, if they can associate whatever they're approaching with what they've already done in the past, at least it keeps their confidence and conviction high and eventually it makes for a safer ride for them. Salamat! Okay, let me try. Coming through, coming through, coming through.
Here I got myself on a mountain bike trail. And you can tell by the obstacles to the left and to the right that it is more technical than what we've been on all morning. Here, you really have to be more nimble and you've got to get your weight distribution right. You end up uh, leaning back on dips like this just to make sure you don't go over the bars. Uh, you also have to make sure that your rear wheel clears. When you go around a rock, um, you got to think of the rear wheel as well, clearing that obstacle, not just the front. And I noticed with this bike, having larger wheels, uh, 700C is equivalent to 29er wheels on a mountain bike. You need, well, I need a little more nudge from the shoulder just to get the uh, direction I want right away. Not just that. You also have to worry about the power you put. A little bit more here just to crest the top, but not too much that you end up slipping in place on the dirt. And then you got to slow down just to make sure you don't overshoot a turn. It's such an interesting route, this, this, this one. Pedal strike there. And uh, it is so difficult to actually get the momentum back because you practically stop. Uh, you, you hop up uh, when the pedal hits the rock and, and you could actually fall or stop. And I fortunately just stopped. But I was having a blast. This is the last section out. And I stayed behind because I wanted to enjoy this. And enjoy, I did. Okay, it's my first time to have a bike with a uh, one by setup. I chose the Ekar because um, it is the mechanical uh, offering of the open up. And going off road, I do prefer the mechanical group set uh, just for less complication. But this is a little different in the sense that this is a one by with a 13 speed transmission. I've got nine to 42 teeth in the back. Um, this is, I think there's 38 teeth up front. And to be honest with you, I was not left wanting for gears. Caveat is that, well, it was a friendly ride today. So I didn't need to put the hammer down in terms of, um, of the flat road. However, I did get to ride this um, on some very technical sections, which might actually would have been better on a mountain bike. Uh, and still, I was able to go through the gears uh, and clear the sections safely. You know? um, I think the important thing is that I was uh, not left looking for a gear I didn't have. I have to admit though, that this and this I need to get used to that. Um, the other group set that I have a SRAM, I have a Shimano. Um, they shift differently. Not only that, it's also 
the hoods. So the hoods, uh, my palms are a little red. I hold it differently when it comes to the Shimano and the um, SRAM. I'll, I'll learn. They're very comfortable um, here when held in the right position. I think I have to use uh, more of the the fleshy part of the uh, the palm instead of the entire palm like I do in, with other uh, group sets. I'll get there. It's just the first day. Um, I think it was a good ride. We had about 50 kilometers. Before they were fun filled 50. We got to ride in some trails. Olivia and my new bike was put through the uh, motions of some single track um, and we had a great time and if you enjoyed it too please like subscribe and hit the notification bell cheers